It's a really nice one for guys at home. It's one of our... Well, it's new on the menu. Uh, our old favourite was prawn linguine. Right. And it's the number one in every restaurant. And we don't know why, but people just well, love... Because everyone loves that. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. So we're going to... We've up, well, I've, I'm trying to outdo it. OK. So we have um, scallops, we have uh, squid, we have some mussels. Um, and what the mussels will give is amazing flavour. Mm -hmm. um, if you look to your left, Philip, I don't know if you want to be my uh, sort of weather girl here, if you can use your finger. Uh, if you point to the right side of the tray, uh, we have linguine there, that's what we're ah. cooking today. Then if you go over, we've gone mad on ravioli on the menu. So we've got tortellini, that's with white asparagus, very seasonal, one month only. We've got the black sepia um, mezzaluna ravioli, which has got prawns, langoustine and lobster. Oh, that then next lovely. to it, spinach and ricotta. Then that's a pappardelle with frills. Uh, spaghetti and uh, uh, tagliatelle. So we make that every day in every restaurant. Free range. Do you? Yep, every Didn't single day. And uh, what's nice about making pasta every day is it only takes a minute and a half to cook, which means for TV it's nice because it only takes a minute you and can a do half it to cook. Straight <laughs> off, yeah. So in that minute and a half, which we're going to do, uh, we're going to go olive oil in the pan. Yep. And this is inspired by my last visit to Sicily. Mm -hmm. So we have some garlic here. I'm going to go in with garlic. That's the beginning of many lovely stories. I have some parsley and, interestingly, the stalks. Lots of people throw those away. They're very sweet. Oh, right. So we're going to put the stalks in there as well. Oh, wow. We're going to go in with some capers, which are here. Mm -hmm. Into my hand. A little anchovy here. If you grab that little pot... And lots of people are scared about anchovy, but it is just a seasoning. It's like a salty, salty you should, seasoning. You should never really taste it. Right. It's more of a flavouring. And in my hand here, from our journeys around Italy, this is a special kind of... Uh, it's from Calabria. It's a special sweet chilli. Look at the oil. So that's not spicy? It's spicy, but not that hot. It's kind of more sweet and gorgeous mm. and wonderful. So what I'm going to do is then go in with the mussels. They take about a minute to cook. The squid. And notice that I haven't put uh, the scallops in. So the prawns go in. Now it's just garlic. It's that parsley. The, ch the chilli's already made it look the right colour, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it really is very, very special. So um, what I want to do now is um, stop that frying. So we don't want to overly colour garlic because it goes bitter. So we want to keep it sweet. So at that point where it looks like it's taken on just too much colour, we then kiss it with a little bit of white wine. Ah. And then we want to just cook that white wine away a little bit. Um, For the alcohol to burn uh, off. The yes, mystery. and we go in with cherry tomatoes. Now, we're just on Sardinian tomatoes at the moment, which was the last time I looked, but we kind of follow the sun. And we'll end up going for some English tomatoes in about three or four oh, weeks' right. time. Okay. So you kind of follow the weather like that, which is quite nice. Um, my water just needs to boil up a little bit, so let's put the lid on there. Um, but it's very nice. I think what's nice about pasta, people love it. Mm. And I think if you look at the, the shapes over there, I mean, imagine a ragu. Imagine a ragu with this. So the pappardelle extruder that we have in the restaurants, we got, we got um, a screwdriver one day and broke, like, almost broke it on one side and that made the feather oh, right. like that. So imagine a bolognese with that. And that's going to absorb all the sauce and it's all going to get stuck in those exactly. little grooves. Exactly. Yeah. So I think what's nice about summertime is that idea. Have you ever heard of aperitivo? Mm -hmm. So a little uh, prosecco, a little kind of crostini, a little bit of this, nice. that and the other. Essential. So in, in Italy, they do that instead of dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So actually, you know, it's, it's an interesting... I, I, sort of, I quite like eating like that as well. Just like a little, a little dippy, dippy, picky bit of everything. Chef. Yeah. Well, we will plate up. Is the um, water important to the sauce as well that comes out of the pasta or not really? You're very good. Well, no, so, only because Gino always tells us no, that. No, Gino, would, God you. bless you. Gino, I love you. Gino. <laughs> um, He's in Italy at the moment. He'll be going mad that we're not it, saying linguine. 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 Well, we'll say linguine because we're from Essex, but Gino, <laughs> love you. Um, but no, and he's a real Italian. Yes, he, he is. He is real Italian. Um, so we're going to take the pasta, yes, and your point is very good. Notice that I'm not draining the water. And that yeah. water and that oil that we used and the juices from the mussels, what they do is they allow us... See, I'm splashing it now. Yeah, they allow same. us to create a nice natural sauce. And, Philip, if you could... Um, and also, the scallops go in now. Oh, right. oh now they go in. Very last second. Uh, well, we're there. We're, there. we're, we're about there. a minute right. to go. So they uh, just okay. cook oh, in the got... kind of residual heat. Yes. I oh, I, I love the fact that you're using all the right words. I can't believe it. I actually knew that worked. Right, there we go. Um, how many were this feed? This is for two, because there's two of you. Oh, and because we love Have we got knives and forks? Oh, there. And we finish... Yes, would you like knife? Oh, here it is, here it is, look. Phil, 
Wow. So get in there. So you could, if you wanted your scallops a little more uh, cooked, you put them in with yep. 30 seconds to go, yep, that definitely. sort of thing. Am I you can eat control it. What we don't want to do is overcook those scallops because then you lose that sweetness and the taste of the sea. Oh, wow. Um, but, uh, you know, we also have little scallop carpaccios as well. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice. Delicious. Oh, amazing. Mm, so fresh. Colour, simplicity. And what's nice about that right fresh pasta is it's two minutes to cook. Yeah, I love that. Which it. means, really you know, delicious. it's a very immediate I don't want to stop eating this. Jamie, thank you so much. Oh, always a pleasure. Absolutely delicious. Just happy birthday. It. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Oh, here's thank my you. birthday on Saturday. Happy, Sunday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.